What is going on guys? So in this video, we're going to take a look at some recent news from Zenimax about Battlegrounds. Now, if you guys remember a while back, I made a video called a message to Zenimax addressing some long-standing issues and problems with ESO PVP. So basically the TLDR version is lag will honestly never be fixed. And I think the best thing that we can get at this time is going to be new content. That's basically what the video was about. Easiest suggestion we made at that time was to return the deathmatch queue. Now, this has been already implemented in the game before. Don't really know why it was removed, but there's some recent news that they may be bringing it back. But I think for the vast majority of PvP, adding a deathmatch queue would be a good thing. But the way they're going about it right now in this test is probably not the best. And I'll, I'll provide my reasoning why. But before we get started, if you guys are enjoying my content, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and you'll never miss an upload. And if this video helps you in any way, don't forget to smash that like button. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So here we are on the ESO forums. Now this was actually posted yesterday. Um, so basically what they're saying is that when Battlegrounds first launched, we initially saw some data and feedback showing a preference specifically towards the deathmatch game mode. With the recent removal of the option to choose a game mode when queuing for Battlegrounds, We've now seen an uptick in players choosing to treat any game mode as deathmatch. In an effort to increase population and interest, the solo and group queues will only offer the deathmatch game mode for a period of time. This change will occur during next week's maintenance on September 20th for PC, Mac, and Stadia, and September 22nd for consoles. Now, my biggest issue with this is this is snakeish activity, okay? Now, I recorded most of this video yesterday, but I woke up this morning and wanted to look at this again. And this just popped in my eyes like, like you wouldn't believe. Okay. When Battlegrounds first launched, we initially saw some data and feedback showing a preference specifically towards the deathmatch game mode. With the recent removal of the option to choose a game mode. Okay, so listen, listen to this real quick. You own a business, you own a coffee, coffee shop, whatever. And your business likes to sell coffee, right? Well, what happens if you take away your coffee? I mean, that's basically, in essence, what Zenimax did with PvP, at least for the PvP community that enjoyed Battlegrounds. They removed coffee and then gave you a chance to get coffee. Like, they got tea, they got orange juice, but you get a random chance to get coffee. One in five. Well, it's probably less. It's actually like 13%. I did a whole, like, I was going to do a whole video on this, but it was just honestly sad. I got like 13% of, of my cues were deathmatched like a few months back. So you get a 13% chance. That was just obviously a, like an extrapolated number, but you get a one in five chance to get to coffee and they remove this queue to be able to PVP. Now, most people prefer deathmatch. I would assume that most people that PvP like to kill players and not like to grab flags and relics and stuff like that, right? While that is fun sometimes whenever you're grabbing the relic and it's 400 to 400 and you're trying to carry it to your base, you know, that's okay. But whenever there's just a tank, whenever there's people that just play like a, a nuisance that is really not actual PvP rather than either it's tanking or just sprint, sprinting away and cloaking and, and doing all this stuff, like with capture the relic. But the simple fact here, I have the biggest problem now that I really looked at this again, was the slap in the face that they knew we liked deathmatch and yet they removed it. That's that's my biggest issue with this personally. My issue with this is forcing everybody to do deathmatch. I know there's, there's a lot of people on here that's pretty upset about that. Like time to stop doing BGs. They don't like deathmatch. Okay, this is gonna cause people to not want to do it. Now, I think if you incentivize rewards or something, that could maybe be the better route. But right now, as it sets, forcing people to do something, most people don't like that, okay? So going about this test this way, probably not gonna be a good uh, test overall. I think the people who enjoy deathmatch, like myself, like many of other, you know, probably higher end PVP players, those people like deathmatch. Now, I personally still do like some of the flag games because I can really focus on kills at that point. Like, I think the main ones that I don't like are Chaos Ball, which is okay sometimes. If there's just an absolute tank there, though, it, it is super annoying to, to play. Capture the Relic is the worst. I had a game the other day, and I know this guy's having fun, and, and you know he's enjoying it, but it makes it a, like not very fun for everybody else. He has like a 60, 70k health Necromancer, and he just doesn't die, okay? And it's fun for him, I'm sure, but for everybody else, it's not very fun. So like the Capture the Relic... It's kind of the, one of the more stupid game modes because it just rewards not even fighting the other opponent. While like Crazy King is honestly a good game mode. Uh, domination is fun. Um, Chaos Ball is okay most of the times. But Deathmatch is the main game mode I think a lot of people like because it most replicates PvP. Now the biggest problem with Deathmatch 
is people just stack on top of each other. Now we're in no CP, so it's a little bit different. But now with the addition to all these new sets like Hrothgard, Dark Convergence, it just makes BGs AIDS, okay? Just being truthful here. People don't enjoy getting yoinked around all over the place. Everybody's running the same build. Now, this was a big problem. You guys remember back in Flames of Ambition, people complained about what? Build diversity. Now, I honestly think what is going on here is they're trying to make everybody on a level playing field. So I think slowly but surely, Zenimax has been trying to reduce the overall skill gap in PvP. Now, Zelda, why would you say this? Well, if you look back in time, they have removed animation canceling basically to the point to where it's non-existent. They make you have to do the full animation on skills. Why do they do this? People complained, oh, animation canceling is cheating. This guy's hitting 17,000 buttons in two seconds. The only like animation cancel you can do now barely is like a lot of tag ransack bash and they completely gutted sword and board to deal like tickle damage. Okay, so yeah, um, animation canceling is no more. They added cast times on ultimates. Why do they do this? Well, you could block cancel a dawn breaker and you could throw it out and you can stun people and they come out faster. I mean, come on. Um, you have OP gear being added. Now, who does this affect? This doesn't affect good players because I mean, good players don't need proc sets, don't need all these great things. The average player needs these things to be able to compete with good players. Now, there's nothing wrong with casual players trying to get better. I actually think that's better for the game. Whenever you're like my content is centered around helping people get better. Now, I have no problem with you using these sets if you're trying to improve, but these are like a crutch per se. And I mean, if you want to use them, fine. They're in the game and I, you know, can't really say anything about that. But for the overall health of the game, this is not a good thing. Them adding free mitigation. Now, tell me it wouldn't be extra that has access to being able to run the flare for 10% major protection. There, is, there isn't a skill slot, but a Zergling in the back of a Zerg, a healer. Oh, they can easily slot that real quick because they have 10, 15 people around them to save them, deal damage for them. All heavy attack one player and kill them. You got chain pull with Hrothgar and a Zerg. You're going to die in one hit. You got obviously the snipers in the background. All these things have been compounding on trying to kill one VX. That's literally what they've been doing. This is what this is so snakish about is they removed the deathmatch cube because people enjoyed it like <laughs> like what and you also have siege the mythic siege they got the stupid ballistas that literally shoot five shots out with the fire or whatever the lightning is i've never gotten it personally but it just seems like every single patch there's something that just keeps cutting away at actually learning the game i mean with these new sets i mean they basically a carry dark convergence you can have almost no thumbs, okay? And there could be two Dark Convergence procs, and you get you you get out of the first one, great. Well, guess what? You just wasted all your stamina trying to get out of that one, and now you get pulled back into the second one. They hit you with an immobilization with the mines or whatever. Now you have to roll out out of that one. It's just thumbless gameplay. And this is, I guess, what Zenimax wants. The two biggest problems in PvP besides lag, which has been very abysmal this update, has been Hrothgar and it's scaling. Now, for whatever reason, there's uh, many theories on what's going on here. For the first theory is it's scaling off of everybody's resistances in the area of effect proc, which would somehow make sense because you're getting hit harder as you're in a group. But honestly, probably another good idea is it's basically mitigating the battle spirit passive if you're in the area of effect. So I don't know which is true, but I know that Hrothgar is bugged right now. And you're getting hit for 15, 16k Hrothgar procs in PvP, in BGs, wherever you're at. Uh, and it doesn't even take that long for it to scale up as high either. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. But that's one bug. And Dark Convergence is the next problem. Now, I don't have a problem with this set, okay? Like I said, if one person's using it, it's okay. But I think where it becomes a problem is when you have four, five, six Dark Convergence procs. It overall ruins the flow of PvP. That is the biggest problem other than lag right now in the game. You just get pulled sideways like a pinball. It's what, what I call this app because it's literally what it is. It ruins the flow of PvP. It doesn't allow for any type of combos. You're getting CC'd every single six seconds, just about. That's one of the biggest problems I can see. And now with Deathmatch, it's going to be even worse, I think. Because people just stack on top of each other in Deathmatch. That's just how it's always been played. Especially if you're going against semi-decent players. Now, I think overall, people who prefer the flag games are not going to PvP. 
and I think this will ultimately drive down the population of Battlegrounds. Now, I think that they will add the Deathmatch Cube back into the game simply because they will nerf these sets eventually. Now, we have to look at this long term. So, these sets won't be the most powerful forever. They're always going to bring out new sets. They're always going to be more powerful than the last ones. I mean, you guys remember back to Crimson, okay? So, they will nerf these sets eventually. And when they do, we have to look at this long term. Now, I think the adding in a Deathmatch Cube will be great. But I think that they could do just a little bit better. I've been reading some of my YouTube comments on my community post. And I think the best thing that they could do is just like the activity finder with dungeons, okay? How you queue up for a specific dungeon, you queue up for that specific game mode. So for example, I queue up to Deathmatch here, I queue up to Chaos Ball, Crazy King, uh, whatever, the Capture the Relic, okay? I queue up for what ones I want to do and it puts me in a queue. So I guarantee I get exactly which game mode I want. Now the random queue can be random whatever it wants to be, I don't really know. But I think adding each specific queue would be very nice. And it would ultimately fill up the games faster. Because if people want to do domination, they can do domination. They can get their, uh, whatever you call it, their trophies. I mean, people really like to do those for whatever reason. But they do. So I think adding the specific game mode you want to do would ultimately be the best route for everybody. Because if you don't enjoy deathmatch, then you don't have to do deathmatch. I mean, obviously you don't have to queue for it if they just make a specific deathmatch queue, but it's gonna ultimately spread out the PVP population to four queues rather than two. And that's the another big problem is Battlegrounds, at least on PS4 and A, is not super populated. You see the same people all the time. So I think the best thing that they could do again is to add a specific game mode queue for whatever you wanna do. In the long term, I think that'll be the best success because Hrothgar and Dark Convergence, they won't be OP forever, like I said. They will be nerfed and it will be adjusted, hopefully. Um, we have to cross our fingers. But the biggest things we can look at is overall content and actual server performance issues uh, to get resolved. I know in Blackreach, it's been unplayable and it's basically forced me to do Battlegrounds. And I really want to do Blackreach. I really want to do Imperial City. But the lag is just horrendous. So why would I want to lag when i can actually just do somewhat decent pvp and battlegrounds so that is my thoughts on this and some feedback for Zenimax. they may not watch this they may but i think the best thing that they could do is add an overall specific game mode that you want to queue for it'll probably make the games fill up faster so yeah um that's pretty much all i have for this video i don't want to drag this out too much because this is like a rather short video but before we go i want to thank all my patreon and youtube membership supporters you guys go above and beyond to support me and I'm very thankful for it. If you guys want to join any of these memberships, then definitely check the links in the description below. I'm going to be adding a lot of new things here over the next few weeks, especially to my YouTube on the top level tier and on my Patreon. But regardless, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. It helps me more than you guys realize. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.